This is a little embarrassing. What is? I'm to make excuses as to why you're not at work again. Then don't. Don't mind their own business. And if they ask about the wedding? Then tell them to mind their own business again. Carla, it's next week. Please, Tony, I can't think right now. I just need some space. And might you come in later? I don't know. Hello, lovely boy. What time are we going? Well, as soon as Maria gets here. Do you want something to eat? No, no, I'm fine. Hiya, I got you one in. Thanks. And Tom for coming, I need to get out. Oh, it's all right. Listen, we don't have to stay here, you know. We could uh, pop into town for a bit of lunch. There's something going on. Um. Yeah. I'll go interview Liam's body. Hello. Hello, Carla. Hello, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, uh... I know we've never really... I know you've never liked me. Please, don't talk like that. Can I get you a, a drink? No. I'd like to come and see Liam. Just one more time. I'd like to come with you and say goodbye properly. No. Not now. Please. Please, Helen. It'd mean a lot to me. Carla, leave it, eh? We've lost both our sons. I know. I've lost a husband. Carla. Carla. Look at me, please. My mum's upset. I know that. Please. Don't make a scene, hey? Not now. We all love Liam Gower. You'll get your chance to say goodbye to him. This is so hard for them. Please don't make it any more difficult. Um, can I do anything? Can you look after her? Yeah, of course I can. No problem. Come on, you. Oh. That was Dot. Maria's changed her mind. She doesn't want to come. They make me sick. Look at them. I think they're the only ones who got a right to grieve. What am I? Just irrelevant. Come on. You know, if Liam was alive, he'd have gone in there and told her. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Think about his poor mum, yeah? The world's come crashing down. <laughs> come on. But we loved each other. Come on, let's get you on me. I like taking all your time up. We'll stop better things to do. Nothing that won't wait. All right, the usual. So, did you go and see him? Can't get it out of my head. The smell of the place, coldness, and Liam just. Just lying there. With a scratch on him. Half expecting him to jump up and shout, Ha, huh, got you. I don't know how Maria's gonna get through the funeral. She's in the right state. Poor oh, Maria. Michelle. Oh. I said I'd work. Thought it might take my mind off things. Some hope, say. Poor beggars. This is the worst day of their lives. Maybe it was best I didn't go. Maybe I'm the lucky one. I get to remember him how he was. Yeah. Thanks for talking some sense into me. Talk it daft. No, I'm glad I didn't say out. Imagine if they'd have known about us changed completely how they felt about him. They would have seen him as a bad person. He didn't deserve that. He deserves to be loved. 
Still not answering? Don't worry, I can call back another time. I could try it at work, but I doubt she'll be there. I'm still very upset. It's very early days. People need to take their time to grieve. I know. It's been incredibly hard on all of us. I've lost a very good friend, not to mention the best man. Uh, hello, Carla. How are you? Where have you been? I've been texting you, phoning you. I've lost count how many times. Sorry, I had no idea we had a meeting, but... Tony asked me to call round to talk to you. Of course, it's my job to listen rather than talk. I'm sorry you've had a wasted journey, but I don't need counselling. Uh, Carla? No need to be rude. Sorry. Why don't you sit down? You know, I've done nothing but talk about it since it happened. Doesn't help. Nothing helps. Why don't we leave it for now? I can always call back if you change your mind. Yeah, of course. But while you're here, we might as well have a wee chat about the wedding. It's all sorted, Tony. Yeah, I've still got to dot the I's and cross the T's. I don't like to leave anything to chance. All the arrangements are signed off. Just a few tiny details. I'm sorry. Can we, um, perhaps do this some other time? It just, it kind of feels wrong. Carla, the wedding's in a matter of days. We can't keep... Just... Can you just shut up for one minute? I don't get what... You're playing at Tony. Why are you putting all this pressure on me? It's her wedding. I just want things to be perfect for you. No, you just railroaded me into it. I can't stand it. I'm sorry you feel like that. I just want you to be happy. <laughs> How can I be happy? I've got to go to Liam's funeral. Somehow I've got to find the strength to stand by. Why they bury somebody I loved? Liam was my friend. We grew up together. We were part of each other's lives. But you just expect me to put that aside. None of it matters. Of course it matters. Nobody would argue with that. This is a very trying time. Uh, perhaps no. I please, I'm sure we can sort this. We'll be in touch. This funeral is a very trying time for all of us. That's why it's important to crack on with the wedding. Give everyone something to look forward to. I'm sorry, I can't. Carla. You can sort this out. You and me. I'm not walking down the aisle with you next week. I can't. Okay. I just can't. I'm really sorry. Um, maybe we should leave this for a few no. days. And... Forget it, Tony. The wedding's off. 